right guys we got the Fontana Pinot Noir so up here I have a clean and sanitized carboy on the bottom and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rack off of this it's been on the oak chips for a couple of weeks and I have my carboy with my anti sediment tip so I mean my auto siphon And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rack off of that. Wow, this Fontana wine smells great. So now I'm racking into a five gallon carboy from a six. So should have less headspace in the end. That's the wine expert kit. That one is the Fontana kit. That one's my blueberry, and right behind me is the raspberry. So you guys can see I do a lot of wines all at the same time, one right after the other. If I'm going to be cleaning stuff, I might as well just bang them all out. Alright guys, that's not bad, huh? So the next step in this kit will be to take the metabisulfite and sorbate and put it in there. So I have the two packets. And the next step I'm going to have to do is to gas, which I'm going to do in a minute. But in the meantime, while I'm getting my degassing stuff ready, I'm just going to put the top on. Alright, there we have it. Alright guys, I just wanted to give you a look at my degassing setup. And what I have here is, um, you know, I could be using the drum mounted device like you saw me use in other videos but because I'm going to degas a couple of different wines I'm going to use my air pump over there so what I have here is I have my wine expert Nebbiolo which is a Barolo and my uh, Fontana you know in the war kit all right and I'm using my air pump with this little protective reservoir on the back end just in case there's any overflow it doesn't go into the air pump and what I'm gonna do is hook this up to the air pump and with this valve I could control how much vacuum is happening 
if I need to release the vacuum on the system, I could use this valve. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. You can maybe see better. Or maybe what I'll do, I'll make this tripod lower. So that you can see better. Okay, guys, check out the vacuum pump to gassing. You gotta be real careful with that because it's so powerful. Just rip out all the CO2 out of the uh, out of the wine. That's using the valve to control it. Alright, so I'm going to degas this a little bit more. And um, I'm also going to show you guys how to use it with the drill. Alright, so I'm trying to hit this thing with the drill mounted device. Um, to try to degas it and you can see some of the gas is coming up I've already took taken out uh, some of the gas using the vacuum pump and I am um, showing you guys how to do it with a drill mounted device too so you can do either or and basically some paddles at the end you put this in Okay, so I think you guys are starting to see what's happening with the degassing. Getting more gas out of it the more I hit it with the drill. Uh, I'm going to let that one settle down and do the other one. Over there. And um, be back in a minute. This is the sparkaloid powder that I use in place of kytosan in all of my winemaking. Now I use this because the kytosan again is made from shellfish and I try to avoid shellfish for folks that have shellfish allergies. I have another whole video on how to mix this up. You can just follow the directions on the side. But I do have another whole video on it and um, that's what I choose to use. Alright, so after adding my sparkaloid I did that in place of the kytosan pack. After adding that and topping up the carboy, I'm going to let that sit now for probably about a week or two. Alright, we'll be back. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And um, definitely check out my blogs, www.cookingitalianrecipes.com with the dashes in the middle or um, my other one on winemaking how to make homemade wine.biz thanks for watching please subscribe and have an awesome day